Last week, Attorney General Garland said something very extraordinary. He said he would not withdraw his memo in which he instructed the FBI to get involved with local school boards. Why would the FBI be interested in parents' meetings with their school board? If there is a reason for law enforcement to be involved, it's probably something local law enforcement can handle. So the direction will have the effect of intimidating parents who speak out about their children's education. And make no mistake about it, we've heard those reports from the parents themselves. The Attorney General should then withdraw the memo. Here are the facts. Number one, on September 29th, the National School Board Association sent a letter to President Biden asking for help from federal law enforcement against concerned parents who are getting involved at local school board meetings. That letter compared parents to domestic terrorists. It even suggested the Patriot Act should be used against them. Now remember, the Patriot Act was passed 20 years ago, written to protect Americans against terrorists. Point number two, on October the 4th, Attorney General Garland put out a memo telling the FBI and other parts of the Department of Justice to work with local governments on the supposed spike in harassment, intimidation, and threat of violence against local school boards. The National Security Division is included as well, apparently, because they deal with domestic terrorists and the Patriot Act. Attorney General Garland has since testified that he gave the Department of Justice this instruction because what he read in the National School Board Association letter to President Biden just five days earlier that the memo was issued. This is an extraordinary deployment of federal law enforcement in local issues when we have prob very big problems like a historic murder surge and especially an open southern border. That latter, the southern border, you see the chaos and the crisis every day on television. Now, from these two points, what have we learned since the memo was put out? First, we learned the White House helped write the original letter from the National S S School Boards Association sent to the White House, not to the Department of Justice. Next, we learned that the state school board associations affiliated with the National Association had nothing to do with putting together the letter. Over 20 of these state organizations have publicly disavowed the National Association of School Board's letters that brought about this directive. Now think about that. The White House helped write a letter to itself comparing parents who love their kids to domestic terrorists but the actual members of the National School Board Association had nothing to do with it. On October the 22nd, the National School Boards Association actually apologized for its original letter that, state, that started this whole mess in the first place and was never even authorized by its own board. Meanwhile, 17 state attorneys general have written to Attorney General Garland saying there has been no spike in violence against local school boards. So the idea that parents pose any sort of federal threat to local school boards is all just simply made up. 
what looks to be by the White House for political purposes. Despite all that, the Attorney General says he will not change one thing about his memo, telling the Department of Justice to continue focusing on local school boards. That memo stands as far as the Attorney General is concerned. General Garland says that he doesn't see how it could be interpreted to mean the FBI will go after impassioned parents. He says there are lines in constitutional law that law enforcement can't cross. Well, that is true. But he's been working with the Constitution his entire life. However, most parents and most school board members aren't experts on the First Amendment. These parents are reading the Attorney General's own words to mean that when they speak passionately at local school board meetings, they could get in trouble with federal officials. So parents are going to stop speaking up at local school board meetings. And that's what's known as a chilling effect. That might be what some at the White House or the National School Board Associations wanted all along. But it's a horrible thing for our democracy. And it should never happen in the United States of America. Attorney General Garland has said he wanted to depoliticize the Department of Justice. Now he wants federal prosecutors parsing what parents say to their local school board members. This is because he thinks there is a disturbing spike in violence by parents, but he's not actually sure if that's right. And this instruction is going to scare parents out of speaking their minds at local school board meetings. But the Attorney General won't change his instructions to the FBI. Mr. Attorney General, parents are not domestic terrorists, and you have only one reasonable choice. Withdraw this memo and focus on the real threats and dangers that American citizens face. Stop being a pawn for the White House by politicizing the Department of Justice.